See, the negative forces are the loyal forces of the opposition won't bother you as long as you're not developing spiritually. And as soon as you start to develop spiritually, they send their minions against you to get you to change your mind, go another direction. And as soon as they've done that, they leave you alone. And then you say, see, it was all over there. That's where I got hurt and got, and you blame. Then all of a sudden they come back in on the blame and go, we weren't finished with you. We just didn't want you over there. Because all of a sudden you'll start to see what they're doing, and then you can thwart them. It's better to learn how to face them and deal with them. And you don't deal with them from a state of negativity because that's giving bullets to your enemy to shoot at you. You deal at them in a state of positiveness. And you don't go, yeah, 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 you missed me. Because they'll go, right, we'll show you what we missed. Then they bring in the big guns. A lot of that stuff is very fearful when you, when you sense it coming. Yeah, very much so. Because you can't duck it. Yeah, there's like no place to hide. That's right. right. So the thing to do is call into your spiritual light, surround yourself, protect yourself, ask for God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, travelers, to come in through your spirit and your soul and fill you up from light from the inside and to push all negativity away. If you ask to be surrounded and protected and filled with light, you may be surrounding and protecting those things that got through to you and they can't get out. I'm sorry. If the negative things get to you and you ask to be surrounded, protected, and filled with light, the ones that got to you are now being surrounded and protected with light so they stay in. That's why I said you ask them to, the light to come through the spirit soul down into the body and the life stream and remove all negativity and then surround and protect and fill you with light. <laughs>